Dunkirk or something like that. It's about uh, the in World War II when they were uh, trying to escape France and go to England. And they were trying to like, or they something like that. Of, they rescued a bunch of people. Or yeah, shit, the right? British civilians rescued a bunch of soldiers and like took the men on boats. Yeah, shit? yeah. Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, yeah. I remember reading up on it when I heard about the movie. That's crazy. That's like a true story. They like, yep. they like fucking rescued like hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. That shit looks cool though. Like the yeah, that shit looks like, just has that almost just eerie, yeah. creepiness that that. Oh yeah, he no one has that sort of style that's like eerie. He has yeah. a you know what I mean? And a lot of it's like obviously it's shot like crazy, but yeah. the like the tones that you get from like a fucking Hans Zimmer score is crazy on that. Dog, do you know Han Hans Zimmer is performing at Coachella? Yeah, he's performing now. Dude, he started doing more shit. <laughs> what? Dude. He's also like there's it's funny because Obviously, this <laughs> fool has always been famous, but never been out in the spotlight. But in yeah, this yeah. day and age, where you got to be like, in everyone's yeah, face, yeah, yeah. dude. I, not only did I see that he was performing, but he has like I forget what the company's no, called. <laughs> no, I forget what the company's called. But <laughs> it's this company that has like Steve Martin teaching a comedy class, Aaron Sorkin teaching a writing class, and fucking oh, that yeah. fool has it's Tom Zimmer, Zimmer it's teaching it's music like, scoring oh, and. I actually watched a trailer from it, and it's what? tight because he pulls up the fucking... Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, where he pulls yeah. up, like, the sound from the uh, the Dark Knight. The, or the, from yeah. the Batman, where he, yeah. like, he, like, pulls up the horn, that... Like, just yeah. that crazy horn that's yeah. in the Batman movies. He, like, pulls up the sound and shit, and it's that like... so genius because he basically did the same score for every single movie, but he just distorted it more yeah. and more. And just little iterations yep. of it, too. And then at the end, it's just, like, yeah. and really loud. Yeah. Oh, man, it's so fucking too, awesome. A lot of times when I'm watching movies, like, as a producer... Producer, it's funny like I'll, I'll watch a scene and I'm like oh that's an iteration of the main theme that's yeah. just like it might just be like two or three instruments playing a certain part of the main theme but I'll hear that m in movies all the time I'm like yeah. oh you just dropped main, out that's the main yeah. theme but it's not though it's like mm -hmm. yeah that, I've always wanted to, to, to get into that but I, I think it'd be really hard to score a movie I would imagine like you gotta be fucking yeah you gotta be Danny Elfman or Hans Zimmer to fucking yeah. I think it'd be hard. I mean, I think I could do it, but I think it'd be really difficult for me to do it, I think. What's your favorite score to a movie? Uh, see, I don't know if I can quantify it to, like, well, okay, quantize it. Like. You don't know if you could uh, quantize I mean, I, I, it. I, I pretty much think that, like, most of the... There's a couple... I mean, you know, what's, you know what's fire? is the Jurassic Park theme. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's fire. Dog, I uh, it ain't worker. fucking with Lion King, though. No. Uh, like, the original Lion King, there's King so many score? That you could name. Come on, but that's man. a big part of movies, though, that gets nah, like people just see, automatically. <laughs> I almost think they, see, man, man. people can take movies for oh, granted, yeah. even not or, like the sound in movies for granted, not even like consciously, but like it's just part of it. But like that shit has to get like written like to it. Like that's mm. just not even. Nah, I read this book on sound. Like I read a book, yo. <laughs> 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 nah, but it like it hella was like talking about that of like how you know watch a fucking horror movie on mute it's not yeah. gonna be the yeah, same movie the anything like any movie you know like yeah. music watch the dance. watch rocky on mute dude they're <laughs> yeah. literally not hitting each other they're going like it's like very obvious wow yeah. Mickey Goldberg. I am. It's just like not like boxing form. You yeah, know totally, what yeah, I mean? Exactly. It's like, it yeah, yeah. Who was it, uh, homie from? Um, I heard like Rogan and like other MMA fighters like talking about the best boxing performance in a movie, and it was they were talking like they're like all unanimous about um, uh, old boy from There'll Be Blood, uh, Daniel. Uh, Daniel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Daniel, what like, in Gangs in New York? No, in uh, fuck, what movie was it? He's like boxing. Yeah, he's like a boxer. Oh, um, fuck, I don't know this. Yeah, what's the name of that fucking you, movie? You, you're the you're the recollection guy. Come on, that's why Is you're this on. Old? This. Old uh, a few Wait, years, but relative. Yes, 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 yes. And I can't remember the name of the Is movie. Is it from the nineties? No. Really? I want to say it's like, like Predator. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> But uh, oh, he's a boxer, huh? Yeah, I, I, that's not coming. I, I'm not like 
remembering anything about that. See, this is why the laptop needs to be in in, in the mix. We do have future episodes. We can cut this. It doesn't matter. (laughs) Anyways, I don't even know if that was important to my point. (laughs) And I don't remember what my point was. was But Joe Rogan, (laughs) Neil deGrasse was on Joe Rogan. So I buy it. I don't know. You know, Daniel Day Lewis will beat me up. That's crazy with the method acting. Yeah. Yeah, Danny D. Lewis. Yeah. Cool. There Will Be Blood is my favorite movie of that's all a, time. That's really? A really yeah. good movie. Yep. It is a really good movie. There Will Be Blood. So is many fire. fucking and I used it in battle trailers. I used it in your actual trailer with A Verb when he was like, "There's people. There. I hate these people." And it like doesn't even relate to the battle. I'm just like, I'm gonna fucking use this in a trailer. I don't no, give a no. shit. I feel like you had like racial, you had like <laughs> subliminal <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> connotations, <laughs> you know. And I used a country yeah. song yeah. in uh in another trailer. Too. And I've been wanting to use uh, Mambo number no. five in the battle trailer. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Come on, yeah, Martina Tuesday no, night. So tight. Hey, that no, actually, tight. that song, the man, that's a well-produced record. <laughs> that that beat yeah. slap. That yeah. shit's hard. Bam, bam, bam. You know that and Blue <laughs> Can't Show hit him up style. I I promise, uh, dog. I promise. You're I was about to make that? a joke. But say like, oh, you should use Blue Can Trail. I don't know <laughs> like, what that is. It, what? Hit him up stuff? It yeah. came out around the same time as that? that maybe that's why I automatically thought that. And but that, I promise you I was going to say that as a the joke. Two. That's crazy. Yeah. Isn't that that? Just <laughs> go back, hit him up style. Oh, it has this little like. Remember, show. she's like, talk about her yeah, man cheat. Like, lit. if your man hey, cheats ladies. on you, like, go back. Yeah. It's hey, like, ladies. Yeah. Hey, man, want to wanna get buck wild. wild. Just go thing. back, hit him up. Stop talking about, like, nah, get. No. Nah. But talking about like getting his, like, credit example, card, man. running up the bill. Hey, you know? you were going to say that? That's crazy. I, prom- I, mean, I was it's like, because, I was going to make bro, a joke. I've always associated those songs. Maybe I did, too. Yeah, this. And this is. This should produce hard. Hey, listen to the intro. It's hard. Like, when. <laughs> Put his hands on his While he was scheming, I was dreaming in the beam of just dreaming. Hey, that shit's hard. There's similarities with like the horns and shit. That's yeah, funny, yeah. You should Maybe definitely that's use why I And I want to use Under the Sea in a battle trailer. Damn. The Little Mermaid song. Oh, that's crazy. No, hey, use Yo, the Lion King. The Nazi Deep Waters. Deep Waters. Yeah, have the Under with the little steel drums. Oh, I'll, awesome. make a, I'll make a license-free version yeah, for yeah. you. <laughs> you know, so I'll reiterate I'll just hit up Iron's dad. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Get the clearance? Yeah. Like, all right, part of uh, the contract for battling yeah, Ilmac yeah, yeah, <laughs> is we get to use Under the Sea for the trailer. That is great. <laughs> and, and we got to get foot. I'm going to fly out to get footage of your pops playing, playing it. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, live. That's crazy. I forgot that that was there. I know, crazy, right? Um, my One of my favorite uh, scores to a movie is Gone Girl, Trent Reznor. Yeah, too sick. Crazy. I and I use that shit in uh yeah David Fincher. Yeah, David Fincher's yeah. fucking sick too. Yeah, really yeah. Guy. Fight Club Seven. Yep. Fun Girl. Yep. Oh, um, Seven's crazy. Yeah. Yep. Um, wait, didn't he do? Even though it's not good, didn't he do Alien Three? Yeah, yeah, I thought Alien Three was good. Well, apparently. His, because there's another version of it. His version is different than the studio version. Well, the thing that, two versions of that movie. the interesting so I think, thing about the uh, Alien the trilogy, Suicide, Suicide it's the only uh, trilogy that each movie is a different genre. Yeah, the first like a, one, like a kind of horror, thriller, monster, yeah. Alien Second, action. action. Yeah. Third is horror. Dude, yeah. weren't we talking about Alien? Because oh, because I showed him the new trailer for Alien the Covenant. That's, yeah, I think it was set. Me too, and I I fucked with Prometheus. I like Prometheus. Love Prometheus dude. I fuck. I, I crazy thing about Prometheus. Most of it was filmed in Iceland. I watched it before I went to Iceland. You know the opening scene where he puts the fucking in the water? yeah. I went to that waterfall. It's the most powerful waterfall in Europe. It's wow, fucking frightening. So yeah, and it looks and you can be there and be like, man, I understand why people would film like a movie right, here. It's like, fucking it just looks epic. yeah. Iceland in general is just like the most beautiful place I've ever been by far. That's crazy. Yeah, Prometheus type. Yeah, I fucked with Prometheus. I, I think I, I went down the I'll, rabbit hole of like you 
YouTube and like message board breakdowns of the subtext of that movie and was like, and then I was so high the other night when you showed me the sequel, I like got anxiety. I'm like, man, (laughs) we're all just a Petri dish and we're planted here and that's what it meant in that opening scene. (laughs) And we're like, I like had an anxiety moment after the trailer of like, like what if the aliens control Hollywood and they're trying to tell us our origin through our entertainment, but like what the fuck? They're planning these hey, ideas that's right crazy now. Idea for a movie. Yeah. Uh, but I literally had that thought after that trailer. I like got lightweight anxiety. I was like, what if the aliens are are among us? Yeah, They're controlling yeah. our intake of information and entertainment and letting us know they are in these metaphors. I'm like, because they want us to evolve like the arrival. So they're like yeah, giving us I these know. clues because they're like, we're going to need you yeah. in 3,000 years. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The arrival was tight. I, dude, I'd love that. Amazing. We were talking about that director. I don't know Best how to say his name. Uh, me neither. But Sicario. Yes, and, Sicario. Uh, Prisoners. Prisoners enemy. I haven't seen Enemy. And he's, uh, okay, uh, Arrival, Prisoners, Sicario, fuck, I feel like I'm forgetting a very big one, Enemy, and he's doing Blade Runner. Yeah, there's one, uh, there is one other, isn't there? Yeah. I, I love Sicario, too. I fucked with that oh, movie. Dude. Amazing. That movie's crazy. Dude, I found out that the dude who wrote that movie, like, used to act. Yep. He's on, he used to be on Sons of Anarchy, because I watch all of Sons of Anarchy, and he's like, he played like the sheriff. The sheriff that's sweating them, the white sheriff. There's two sheriffs, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The not black, the black one, the yeah, white one. Yeah. Remember the white one? That fool oh, wrote Sicario. That was like in the early. Yeah, yeah, like I was watching an interview with him, and he was talking about how, like, yeah, he was just kind of like, he, like a kind of like of just a he would just do fill in little little acting jobs and like TVs and movies. And I think that Sicario is the first thing he wrote. I feel like yeah, he like only started writing like recently, and he also wrote Hell or High Water. And that, was, that, that movie's crazy. fire. Crazy. I love that movie. Yeah. That fool wrote Sicario and Hell or High Water and literally started writing like Fuck. You know, he was like he was just like a little actor and then just started writing. Yeah, so and awesome. like yeah, like out the park, because the both of those are really really good good scripts yeah. and good movies yeah incredible movies i want I, 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 he keeps telling me to watch sicario and i was like benicio del toro i was like he's like yeah and i'm like like drug running yeah i'm like yeah. traffic yeah. and he's like ah, no, no it's, a different, it's a different type it's, of yeah it's yeah different yeah, yeah of that's why he's not having to watch it's it nasty oh yeah i, I fuck another sicario. great movie though that was one of my favorite traffic. movies traffic. from Last year, for sure. Yeah. That movie was sick. Yeah, I liked Prisoners a lot. Prisoners was really good. And I mean, check I out Enemy. Know. Enemy's dope. Yeah. Super I, good. I should watch it. What's Who, Enemy on? Yeah, who's it's Enemy? about uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. He oh, okay. uh, is watching a movie, and he finds somebody that looks exactly like him. And it's about him like seeking out this person that looks huh. exactly That's like him. That's a sick concept. Yeah. I think you say that it's name. it's weird. De- I think it's it's because pre- I watched like a, one of those Hollywood uh, reporter roundtables yeah. that he's on. I think it's Denis is his name. The oh, last name yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's like Denis Villeneuve, <laughs> Villeneuve or some shit. French. But it's Denis. Yeah, Montreal. I think. Yeah, yeah word Montreal. Yeah. But he's lit though. His his movies are sick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking Canada. Yeah. That piece of yeah, shit. Yeah, I like that. I feel like that gesture comes with the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like this gesture, yeah, exactly. like you got to do that a certain <laughs> amount of times yeah, in exactly. the day. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. And that he's doing Blade Runner play. next, so that's gonna be amazing. Yeah, dude. I saw, I dude, Blade. Dude, the 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 whole the whole thing behind Blade Runner, it's like it cannot be below average. At all. The director is amazing. Yeah. Roger Deakins is. The DP Roger Deakins. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but he's yeah. the best DP in the world. Like oh, he, okay. he 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 DP. And Ridley Scott's like involved in it though, right? Like isn't he a producer he, on it or something? He might be. Like not who? like the fo- he, he like oh. directed the, the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, he's, he he did do. Prometheus and he did a uh, hmm? yeah, 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 yeah. I just didn't hear yeah. what you said. Yeah, I just didn't. Yeah, I know. But I know. he uh, and then also the composer is really good. I don't know who it is, but supposedly yeah. he's got stripes. And then fucking Gosling. Is in yeah. it? Gosling's Titus Let Me Fuck, and then yeah. Harrison Ford's in it. So it's like, where the fuck is this gonna fall? It's right. like, well, I, I think, think it's like he's probably the new fucking, you know, like he he, he he's gonna like. I think that he's pretty much like the, the new version of Harrison Ford, and I don't know why. Like, 
I because the thing about that teaser is it doesn't really tell you anything yep. story wise, but I think it'll be good though for yeah, sure. I agree. And then he has a uh, Dune after that, the director, oh, which shit. is really nuts. Yeah, what's it's, Dune? I never, I never. It's a it's a comic series that they had that they tried to make into a movie. I think a, a while ago, but it was like Watchmen, where it was a very it's a very good graphic novel, okay. I think. But they're like, we can't adapt it into a movie. It's impossible. And it's like has this huge cult following behind it. And he's taking it on. It's just oh, like insane. He's just getting these like, yeah. like you want to do fucking Blade Runner, the remake? <laughs> Dude, like how of an uphill battle is that, yeah, man? Really it's like, like you have to. You have to. The bar, yeah, the bar is set yeah. so high, you know? It's like, yeah, Some people would say that's the dopest sci-fi movie of yeah, all time, exactly, you know? Man. Arguably, I wouldn't be mad at somebody yeah. making that argument. But yeah. the thing is, is like, you know, it's one of those things like we're saying about like Nolan and Tarantino. When you look at the track record, it's like it's, it's pretty good so far. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, like yeah. fucking... It, I don't think that he was know, he was saying our, like, earlier fucking, too about Kubrick. Yeah, Stanley too. Kubrick's yeah. Kubrick is yeah. crazy. Yeah, dude. Kubrick's nuts. Yeah, Kubrick's really good. Yep, another track record. And there's hella shit too. Like, fuck, what was it? I don't remember what movie it was. Um, fuck, what was it? It was some movie where a dude who fucked with Kubrick like let him use some footage that he shot in one of the movies I'm trying to like it's slipping my mind what movie it is but there's like a director who's like it's it's, it's a, gotta be an OG director was, I think it was on one of those Hollywood round tables but he's talking about how like he he talked to Kubrick like not like not too long like before he died about the movie he was working on. He's like, oh, I got some footage. So it's like, and oh, he just wow. sent him like a bunch of hours of shit. Yeah. I think it was like city shots or something. Like, you know, it was just some like random footage that Kubrick Still, had that's from movie. I was like, yeah. Incredible. He's like, if it's anything that I've used before, he's like in there, he's like, you can't use it. But other yeah. than that, you know, that, I always thought that was like, I was like, oh, that's dope. Yeah. 2001 is probably one of my favorite movies as well. Yeah, that's definitely one of the The hard cut movies. between the ape throwing up the bone yep. that he just uses a tool to a spaceship is probably the most powerful edit, period, in all of film. Like, it's just like that is so simple, but it matches like the match cut and just like what that yeah. means. And it's just an edit. So fucking yeah. awesome. So fucking awesome. What's well, yeah, a match I mean, cut? That's. Okay, okay, so a match cut is where, like, I, if you cut on something, the image matches it, kind of, right, you know? Right, right, so the, right. the oh, bone, okay, okay. the bone when it's getting thrown up, it's, like, spinning like this, and then when it cuts, the bone's like this, and then it cuts the spaceship that's like that. So it's, like, it, yeah, it's, yeah, you know, yeah, combining yeah, the two. So yeah, 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 fucking incredible. The movies at that time are crazy, because it's, like, they set the standard for the movies from, like, our generation and age because mm -hmm. it's like a little bit before yeah but like there's so many times when you go back and, and watch again, it's almost analog digital it's, transfer it is, it you, it, it, you know what i mean like of with music like, film and it's like yeah. it's the same thing when you listen to old music yeah. that's done on tape and it's yeah. they're not going on yeah. pro tools like me and fucking yeah. no they're yeah. cutting with a razor yeah. blade yeah. <laughs> the fucking you know but it's like Crazy. The thing is, is it's dope sometimes when you go back and watch an older movie, how you're like, this still is a tight-ass movie. It's, yeah. it's 2017 and watching yeah. a movie from whatever the fuck, like, that's cool. Like, cinema is, is, is crazy like that because... What's a good example of forever. something that's held up like that? That's like... More. 2001? Yeah, that's Fuck, I haven't seen it in forever. I haven't seen it in forever, but I obviously like, thought it was crazy. There's like some corny shit in there, like the apes and the costumes. You're kind of like, okay, that's kind of yeah. like whatever. But like the the spaceships and stuff, it's like still holds up. Jurassic Park still holds up. Fuck yeah, it does, bro. That was one of the most craziest cinematic experiences I had as a kid seeing it. Mm -hmm. And to this day, absolutely Jurassic Park holds yeah, up. Absolutely. It still looks good. Yep. It's like... That was because it's crazy because there's movies older than that and movies newer. way newer than that that look terrible. Yeah. There's movies from a couple years ago that were huge blockbusters that you can look at the yep. effects and be like, that looks trash. Yeah. But absolutely right about that. Jurassic Park. But, well, it's because they built the fucking dinosaurs, yeah, too. It was I mean? a combination of CG and, yeah. and real. So. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I remember seeing that. As a like that was like I'm one of the most vivid movie the Jeep scene where yes. he's like running the chasing scene and that, that and that water when you see the fucking vibration yeah. in the water like I just yeah. remember 
there's two movies that when I was like super young that I had that was like this is amazing and it's that and Terminator 2 fuck <laughs> yes <laughs> Terminator 2 dog oh my god it was, like, it was like me my pops and my brother and we went to Queensland which is like where like the Gold Coast is and shit so like I, I must have been like six or seven but I remember watching that movie and being like this is the great, you know, yeah, yeah. like Terminator Two yeah. to this day yeah. is is that holds up to me too. That's one of the yeah, that that movie's crazy. It is hell yeah. yeah. That movie's sick. It sucks that the newer Terminators are whack because it's it's such a dope like concept, and the first two are so dope. It's yeah. like the last two Terminators. I don't think I even watched either or three. After I watched two. Salvation. I watched Salvation too. And I actually liked Salvation, but I think I like Salvation because the theater I saw it at, they turned the volume up really, really, really loud. <laughs> oh, so it was just like... Yeah, it was like terrifying. Yeah. There was like guns. I was like, Gah! but I like liked it. I was like, this is cool. <laughs> I could tell other people. Yeah. Like, we should tell them to turn it down. So oh. loud here. <laughs> I wasn't mad at Salvation. I didn't see Genesis, but Terminator yeah, 3 is oh, one of the worst... Yeah, I that's where like they, I, he like fly Arnold flies through a flying helicopter, right? I, I I didn't see Genesis. I didn't yeah, see it, I dude. Heard. Terminator Three though, I remember is one of the worst yeah. movies I've ever seen though. Yeah. I remember watching. That's where it lost me, dude. Like, some so of the dialogue in Terminator too. Three, if you go back and watch that shit, dog. Because it was it like is a kitschy ridiculous, action. ridiculous, bro. When they're trying yeah. to be like kitschy dude, action. Dude, like, you remember that scene? Almost like Batman Forever. Dog, do you remember like, that scene in chill. Terminator 2 where he goes to the fucking bar naked, yeah, yeah, yeah. beats up the yeah. biker, and <laughs> takes the leather, yeah. puts the sunglasses on? It's badass. In Terminator 3, it's in a gay bar, and oh, he puts yeah, on yeah. these pink yeah. fucking stars. Yeah. And it's, it's not, the thing about it is like shit, like they do that in the whole movie. Yeah. Like, they'll do recreations of number two yeah. and one, but in the way that's like, that movie is, is really like terrible. parody is. It's, but it's, but it's dude, that's our cringe all day. Terminator 3, because, yeah. yeah, I just have a vivid memory of that movie sucking, like, really bad. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I don't necessarily remember saying, well, I, I remember you, tuning out after two. Yeah. I'm like, I'm cool. I'm what can like, you expect, though, you I'm know? Like, that, that shit <laughs> it's like, ah, too, yeah, sure. it's I don't like, have too uh, much invested in the Terminator yeah. franchise. I yeah. love number one and two. Yeah. Two is one of the dopest movies ever, but it's like, yeah. That shit happens. I, I hate when that shit happens. I think Arnold's best role is as Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Have you ever seen the compilation shit. of how many times he said chill and freeze? <laughs> no. They made a, a compilation of how many times he said freeze. It's like, chill. How does it feel to taste ice? <laughs> chill out. Freeze. Yeah, yeah. Freeze. Cold. Freeze. Freeze. It's like just like a bunch of like everything cuts. Is, yeah. yeah. Everything. Every scene with him was Keep a your little cool, like. Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like a little one liner. Hey, that's, that's one that's pretty. That movie's crazy. I really love yeah. Robin. Yeah, oh, where wow. the Batmobile looks like a that ribbed condom, dude. Nipples, 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 <laughs> yeah, they have nipples. Oh, yeah, my God. Nipples on the suit. That's Batman and Robin with... I thought it was uh, Forever. They no, Forever's the with in, the ribbed... They might have put the nipples in No, forever. I was thinking with Mr. But, Freeze. That's Batman and Robin. Yeah. That isn't Forever. The, it's Forever's range. with the ribbed. The first one is... The first one from Schumacher is fucking... Yeah, it's it's oh, with Jim Carrey and... Uh, as Riddler. Riddler, yeah. For some reason, I was thinking Mr. Freeze was in that one as nah, well. Was, okay, okay, so it was Poison Ivy. And got fucking, you, got uh, you, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It. But it's like that movie. I like that shit as a kid because it was just like visually. Oh, yeah, it's and colorful. I was like, I was like oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't oh, like no, it that shit as a kid. But yeah, I, yeah, as a kid, it's different. Yeah. I mean, I love those first couple ones, but Batman and Robin is fucking crazy, Tate. man. Play it next to uh, Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you're not close. But it's weird like that, though, when the, you go back and watch a movie that you, like, hella fucked with as a kid. Yeah. And then you sometimes it's you're like, like yeah, this is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it's just not killer clowns from outer space. Oh, word. <laughs> Scary as fuck when you're a kid. You're like, that's, oh, my God. You've you seen it, right? Yeah, seen it. Well, the story behind that actually is, like, I never wanted to see it when I was a little kid. And my, like, dad, like, I, li I grew up, like... At a certain point, I was like living with just like my grandma and like four uncles and my dad, and 
like my dad was like the oldest, so it was like all my, it was like a bunch of brothers, and I was like the youngest type shit. But they like wanted to terrorize me by making me watch that because I was terrified of it. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, I don't want to see that. I'm like before kinder, you know, I was like four years yeah. old or some shit. I'm like, no, that's terrifying. I'm like we're gonna strap you to a seat and make, and it's like totally at my grandma's house where she'd be like, leave the kid alone. Like <laughs> my grandma was like my only ally, yeah. and then it was like a bunch of, but uh, they, my uncle and my dad made me watch it. And I was like, I loved it. I'm like, this is the best film ever. And there was like, it was on a deep, like a bootleg uh, VHS with, uh, I don't know if you remember the movie House. There was House One and House uh, Two. Yeah, I think and so. it was like kitschy horrors like that, like uh, in the different, but yeah. definitely up there with like Pet Cemetery oh, yeah. and like, and um, it was my. I was like, I love it and. It became a thing where I like watched that movie every day, sometimes multiple times a day, because <laughs> oh I wasn't God. in school. And my uh, like my dad would be like, no, like let's watch this. And my grandma would be like, let the kid watch his tape. <laughs> and like I would subject like if the tables you were turned, oh and so God. they had to watch it a million <laughs> times, you know. And I never wanted to watch it in the first place. Karma. That's Damn. crazy. Bite you in the ass. <laughs> There's only a couple. That's a great there. movie though. If you go yeah, back exactly. and watch it, have you seen it recently? No, no. There's this scene of uh, them, like the killer clowns terrorizing a pharmacy, and it's like this obvious extra, but who plays like a pharmacist, and he's like, fre like freaking out about the killer clowns in like terrorizing the store, and he's just like, <gasps> like it flashes to him multiple times, which you could tell is probably just one take, yeah. but where he's like doing the same thing, he's just like. <laughs> It, like not saying anything but it's like it, it's hilarious it's like one thing i'll just rewind i'm like that's yeah. the best like i need to make that a fucking gif yeah, you know so and like funny. put it yeah there's little things in movies that bro like there's the, one I, thing you might that might even really not be funny but for some bro they had like, popcorn guns and the clowns were aliens from outer space <laughs> that kidnapped people spun them in cotton candy but it was like a spider spinning a web and then drained their blood drank their blood with a straw <laughs> and it was, that's amazing <laughs> that's, fucking, that's lame <laughs> i remember there was like deep at like deep ass scenes that i love like where they're like running in the in this clown you know circus tent running from the killer clowns and they'd open one door and there's a slightly smaller door and they open that yeah. door <laughs> that's like this is yeah. a series to where they're like crawling through a little corridor yeah. that's amazing that's, that's great crazy. i'm like i want to go in a fucking haunted house like that <laughs> that's crazy it's great Candy movie man scared the fuck out of me when i was little for sure i don't Candy think you ever saw that what Candy man was scary yeah that yeah that that shit was scary as hell that fool was intimidating that kind concept was I tried to like on some dare shit like yeah. oh, do it in the mirror I'm like yeah there's also movies that were just like from that time from like the earlier 80s type shit that are like creepy because of almost like how they're shot and they look you know what I mean like like some of that this is forever terrifying yeah, yeah. Dude, that's a scary movie I remember my dad told me he got traumatized by that movie yeah that was the first movie that that old lady's <laughs> voice and shit like that yeah, was Exorcist terrifying is, that's a fucking creepy movie yep or um I'm trying to think what else was like I you know what movie I remember being like it's almost like the not species being scared, is kind of weirded out by alien. was fucking uh was <laughs> labyrinth <laughs> labyrinth yeah with fucking david bowie and jennifer uh, Connelly and yeah, shit that's where like it, it's like i'm very yeah, like, yeah they just have all these weird creatures that i even think it's like on some jim henson shit like the creatures in it and shit yeah, yeah. but it's like i just remember that movie being so creepy like looking as a kid and being like yeah. this movie just like weirds me out you know yeah, yeah labyrinth bro but he's got like the long fucking gold hair and Jennifer mm -hmm. Connelly's like hella young, yeah. It's dope though, but weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking weird. Yeah, I I don't I don't know what movies of that time period that were like creepy just based on the way they looked, but I mean just film in general, it's like it can be creepy, you know. Yeah. Like the way it looks, like the muted colors and Yeah. And yeah. definitely like just the way the soundscape and the way you just the way the tone is set like can 
just alter everything. And there's a lot to be said for the negative space. It's like notes and jazz. Like sometimes it's the notes that you, you don't, don't play. play. It's that fucking like yeah. time of yeah. like that gives it suspense. Yeah. Is that like blank space of anticipation where you're almost yeah. just on your seat. Like yeah. I know something's about to happen. Yeah. It's too quiet in, right uh, now. You know? In Rosemary's Baby, you guys have seen that movie, right? No, no. What? You guys yeah, have not I seen Rosemary's Baby? No. I feel like Damn, son. Okay. Something I yeah, anyways, it's it's a horror movie about uh the devil gets this girl pregnant, essentially. This guy like sells his wife to the devil because he wants to make it as an actor and the devil will get him a job as an actor if he okay. has the devil's uh, whatever. <laughs> it's it's like a cult classic. Yeah. It was like the shit at the time, but there's a scene in it where this woman goes into this room to talk with the devil on the phone and it's kind of like uh she goes into the room, but the camera doesn't completely pan past the door frame. Okay. So all you see is her legs on the table, and they and it holds the whole time when she's talking on the phone. And the director was like, yeah, in the theater, people would always do this. Like, <laughs> like try to look around the door, and it's just that motion, right, you know? Right, but right, right. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, and it's like they didn't show it on purpose, and it made it so much more, like, yeah. impactful because it's yeah. like you don't know, you yeah. know? So yeah, that that I feel like sometimes like in certain scenes, some might it like you don't necessarily need to see the person get their fucking throat cut, but you might yeah, just be, hear that sound or even just like. Well, that's the um, what they call like the gutter in um, like graphic not or like in comics and shit, which they call the gutter like the in between spaces. It's like you know you have your boxes or whatever, okay. so it's like the spaces in between the scenes. And um, like this writer was breaking it down, like in his book, I read is all about like graphic novels and shit. And um, he's talking about how that is what makes every comic because <laughs> comics can be violent, but it's like you're filling in the blanks. You know, you might like I didn't I didn't show this person getting killed. I showed the right before, and then I showed like a ah or a scream after. But you filled in those blanks, yeah. and that's why it's more impactful because you're like filling that in with the thing that terrifies you yeah. you know what i mean yeah, right. and um that's one thing they even talk like in the book that talks about like the advantage of writing over movies but when utilized like how you're saying mm -hmm. still kind of utilizing that negative like i'm not going to give you everything yeah. in the room yeah you know can be fucking it's our it's our need to fill in the missing information yep. you know yeah that's crazy yeah like when I fucking cut right before Diz hit math, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Third round versus Big K, bro. <laughs> hey, I still haven't even battled Big K. That's what's funny. Is that third round kind of manifested this, so you know? Crazy. Yeah, that's is Mandela effect. That's another episode. <laughs> hey, we might have to call it Man the podcast Mandela effect. <laughs> oh my god. For real. <laughs>